All right, we're back. My name is Tom, and I've got Graham with me. I think he's fiddling around with his Skype. Hello. Trying to fix it. Hello. <laughs> and uh, I, I totally forgot to even mention, like, we, last time it was, like, Kill Confirmed on Fallen, and now this is Kill Confirmed on, on Bootleg, because Kill Confirmed is the only game type that I can really, really play in this game. I, uh, domination to me changed completely. With uh, with elimination is almost unplayable. Unplayable. Um, Just gonna put that in. I didn't really like um, drop zone. I couldn't. If you play drop zone like an asshole and just camp the drop zone, I think drop zone, of course, is a lot of fun. <laughs> but uh, if you're actually like pushing on, trying to get in that drop zone, especially without a team, it's it's uh, it's a nightmare. I didn't really play team defender, but kill confirmed. Uh, you know, I love team deathmatch, and it. It did what it needed to do for Team Deathmatch, which was like speed it up, you know? Yeah. And so, um, I, I don't know. I hope this game type sticks around. I, I'd like to see if I can Black Ops. Yeah. I th I, like for, for Black Ops 2, I think I, I would like to, like to keep it around. But uh, real quick, Graham, I want to ask your thoughts on like uh, kind of quality control that you see. The like quality, like a report card on what big channels do you watch? Who do you watch? I, I honestly really only watch maybe two or three big channels and then maybe like I watch like yours and then a couple of friends but the only one I really mainly watch is XCal and I think it's the only channel that anyone should watch. <laughs> I'm going to put it out there I'm full gonna, on I'm gonna throw Nanners on that list too. Like a, everyone should watch Nanners. But what, oh, yeah. what makes you love XCal's channel? Sorry? What makes you love um, XCal's channel? Like, oh, I think everyone should love Excel's channel. I mean, yeah. he was the—he's the daddy of it all. He is, yeah, and that's what he's the Vince McMahon of everything. Uh, the Vince McMahon of everything. Um, what? What first? Like, what do you? What do you especially like though about his channel? Like, what makes it just click for you? I think it's quite nice that he, he just doesn't care. He just does he not really care doesn't. what anyone thinks. Lee and I had talked about that. He doesn't give a shit about anything going on in the community or anyone's. Post Opinion? Whatever he wants to play. Yeah. He doesn't care about his subs. He which he, he does. It's like he what well, he no, does. He really yeah. he really yeah. Well, it's hard to say because I feel like he does care about his subs and that like he likes to entertain them. But as for their opinions on what he should be doing or oh yeah how he should play, he could give a shit less. Yeah, <laughs> and and that's pretty amazing because. Um, uh, I I would have a hard time being you know like he's got this FAQ section down on the side of his page and he's like if you suggest a game to me I'll automatically not play it and I'm like Jesus <laughs> Christ you know and he just you know it, what's amazing though is he's part of this big network and it seems like nowadays every commentator knows each other knows yeah. each other's shit and I, I I was talking with Lee about this if like if no man is an island they never like have seen xcal because he is just this weird little island that is incredibly good at every game he plays you know <laughs> off by himself and in, in, in terms of big channels you know i know he plays a lot with spoon yeah i do enjoy some spoon yeah and it's, what, what's surprising is that he relatively he has a quite a small channel if you think about like definitely he's at, big what? he's at what 200k i think it's like 200,000 maybe yeah 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 it and and that to what what's uh, like what are some of the other big channels you know um, I guess C Nanners C Nanners well, White C Boy is, yeah White Boy Woody, Woody I think they all have like five hundred thousand yeah Woody so um, and then you have like kind of the uh, like probably like slightly like around a hundred k with like onslaught and all them right yeah uh, and um, but with Xcal even like he had played on onslaughts Road to Commander I don't know if you ever saw those. Uh, uh, my, my friend said he was on there, but I never actually bothered to watch. Yeah, them. he played with that, and uh, Lee was like, he loved watching that because uh, everybody on like had moved over from Xcal's channel to apparently watch these, and we're just you know talking about Xcal and how awesome Xcal was on another <laughs> on another person's channel. You know, it's like I'm only watching for Xcal. Man, look how you know much Xcal reamed all of these dudes. You know, and I think that. Uh, that's amazing when you have that dedicated a fan base for basically just doing your own thing, you know? Yeah. Like, what do you, what do you look to do in, uh, in your own channel? I think mainly with me, it's, it's just about entertaining people. Like, it, it doesn't matter what 
whatever score you get or how good you are at a game. As long as you're doing stupid stuff and just, I guess, just acting, not acting your age. I think, not I think not acting your age? Yeah, I, I think you know, the whole the tips and tricks and, and stuff like that isn't for me. Yeah. Um, well, I love, I love, I try to do I like love following you on Twitter because you'll, uh, you'll give shit to some, some bigger, some bigger directors and <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, God, who was it that you, you were like, shut up and get off your horse, you know, whenever they were bitching I, about, <laughs> I know I, that's like, I, I think it was, I think it was Wings of Redemption. <laughs> it was Wings of Redemption. He was no, complaining about wings, how hard it was to run a you YouTube channel. About, he was like, you don't know the effort that it takes to go into running a channel. And you were like, wake yeah. up, wank. Re- render a video, eat, play God, <laughs> render a video, shit, and go to sleep. It, like, that's your day, you know? It, it basically is your day if you're not doing anything else and yeah. you just want to record. I mean, I think, like, what it is is he's he maybe struggles with it because maybe he's he's running out of creative ideas, you know, for a, video, a Call of Duty video a day where you have to come up with this dialogue to have with your subscribers. Well, yeah, especially so much... if it's your main like, monetary source. Oh, definitely. Which, you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> about it being someone's main monetary source. <laughs> it, no, it, it'll definitely, you know, a lot of people will be like, oh, you should always do it for the fun. I've heard several people say, you should do it for the fun. If you're doing it for a career, you're making a mistake. And then they'll do it as their main monetary source. And you Hello. can you can X feel it, that. yeah. It, well, you can feel it in their voice that they're panicked about how many fucking views they're gonna pull in a day. Yeah, you know, because they once it becomes that main monetary source, you have. I mean, you have to hit it. You know, like you have to be making comment that people, you know, content. Sorry, that people give a shit about. You know, or else you're you're not gonna you're not gonna make your money. So I, I don't know. I think the main thing is is you have, they have to network. Like they have to like go on other people's channels or talk to other people and like you need to watch my video yeah because i need i need money well that's always a gray line because you know it oh god the ethics of youtube this moral gray ground of uh well don't ask for likes and favorites it's douchey well and then you have other channels that the subs don't mind of hey guys don't forget to hit like and favorite if you want to see more and well don't you know don't spam your shit on other people's channel but you have to network. You have to, uh, you know, make sure that you find someone to do dual comms with and, and blah, blah, blah. It's all these fucking rules and then exceptions to rules that, you know, are written for running a channel. And I don't even know who the hell wrote the damn rule book, you know? Yeah, it seemed like it all sprung up last year. What? And tell me more about that. Because I'm new well, to I the was game. having the, uh, it was like the world against, um, I guess, White Boy. And, you know, the whole likes and favorites and giveaways and all that crap. That was his big thing. And, and miscategorization, right? He was miscategorizing. Yeah. Which, you I know, mean, Lee had told me about this. And this was had become, like, a common practice among uh, several directors, right? Were miscategorizing yeah. videos. And, and I, I guess the argument was that it's affecting smaller channels, but... To be honest, the only reason that they're smaller channels is because they're small. You know, it's going to take more than some person thousands of miles away doing something to affect a small channel. Like, I don't think me or you are going to be affected if XCal puts out 50 videos a day. Yeah, well, no. Like, that's, that's not going to affect us. People are, so yeah, I didn't really understand. Yeah, I, whole... I, and I'm still not even sure, like, really how the sub box works and how people really find your channel and how ratings work and and all that i i kind of just you know i post the video i tweet it out and then and then i kind of let the internet do you know do with it what it does you know anything i think if i worried about it too much more it would it would become an ass ache you know yeah and i i, I did find myself getting caught up and like oh god i gotta make sure i'm, I'm you know trying like trying to figure out how to gain more views gain more subs and i i don't i don't know when i when i started thinking about that i i uh you know i definitely just stopped wanting to do it in general yeah well i stopped for like two months three months it was more i could can't be bothered anymore (laughs) then i can't be bothered to to satisfy people 
I gotta explain the gameplay real quick. The gameplay that I chose, I completely forgot about this game, but Lee and I were playing Kill Confirmed, and our whole team rage quit, and we were like kind of tied up kind of ahead. And we were like, <laughs> fuck it, let's just see if we can win this one, just the two of us. And we did. I'm trying to figure out the final score right now. Right now we're at 49 and 48, and I think we win 51 48, it looks like it. Yeah, 51 to 48. <laughs> two versus six. <laughs> That happened to me and my friend. I think we lost by two tags. Like, the whole team quit, and it was just me and him. <laughs> From, like, the start, we were like, you know what, let's just do this. Let's, yeah, fuck yeah, it. Yeah, we just a KSG. <laughs> just, yeah, it was like, I think Lee got the final kill game with the striker. <laughs> 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 but that's that's that video, guys. Um, I'm going to see if I can squeeze one more part out of Graham. And, uh, you can squeeze as much as you want out of me, ooh, Tom. Oh, yeah, yeah. But we will <laughs> see you guys for part three. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen.